Ja, hallo Präsident. Hat Staff uh, BFT Protocol. So, uh, Hat Staff uh, consists of algorithm is uh, a leader based uh, Bison team for tolerance uh, replication protocol. It was uh, proposed by uh, VMware Research in 2019 and is being officially published in 2019. Uh, the uh, hot stuff uh, assume uh, a partial synchrony for a network model uh, and uh, it's uh, adapted by Lipra Association. Lipra claims uh, that there are they test many BFT uh, uh, protocol and uh, this one uh, 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 performed the best. So uh, <clears throat> the uh, contribution of the paper are uh, two things, uh, uh, linearity and uh, optimistic uh, responsiveness. So uh, the uh, correct leader uh, will be able to commit a block in one round with only linear communication cost. That's done because uh, hot uh, stuff use uh, one to all communication uh, uh, network, uh, uh, topology network and uh, use a threshold signature scheme. Uh, another uh, uh, property is called uh, optimistic responsiveness. Any uh, correct uh, proposal, let's say B PI, uh, waits only for uh, uh, N minus F messages from replica, not for uh, maximum network delay. Uh, a third one, it's, it's not uh, uh, a hot stuff thing. It's proposed before hot stuff. It's uh, uh, something called rotated leader, and uh, this gives uh, uh, a, a protocol uh, or the chain uh, the fairness. So it means uh, every uh, validators uh, in the system will be able to get a proposal block. So uh, I'll start with the basic of the protocol. So the protocol works in uh, a succession of views. Uh, each of you has uh, a dedicated leader, and uh, the proposal contain uh, 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 three basic things: uh, command that uh, replica needs to uh, execute, and metadata like uh, a few number and other things, and uh, parent link. And uh, the protocol guarantee the uh, uh, liveness uh, if the message uh, arrive within a delta time, and uh, uh, the protocol guarantee the safety uh, all the time. And uh, <coughs> There are, uh, uh, if, if we have a, a block or a proposal, that block has to have a leader and the leader has to collect uh, N minus F uh, replica fault within uh, three phases. So what are those three phases? Uh, at the beginning of the protocol, a leader will wait for a new few messages uh, from uh, uh, replica, N minus F replicas. And, uh, <laughs> the leader has to choose uh, the highest uh, uh, quorum certificate uh, with the highest view. This will give the leader uh, a safe move to uh, select the, the, the branch that he wants to extend, the safe branch that he wants to extend. Then the leader will uh, broadcast his proposal uh, with the uh, highest uh, quorum certificate. Uh, Replica will, uh, upon receiving the, uh, the prepared message from the leader, they will uh, uh, accept it with, if the uh, replica uh, believe that a new proposal will extend the, uh, its current uh, branch and or if it uh, has a higher view than the uh, view that the replica locked on. Uh, then the replica will vote uh, uh, back to the leader. The leader uh, has to wait for n f minus uh, f uh, prepare uh, votes from uh, replica for its proposal. It will combine them or it will uh, construct the uh, prepare quorum certificate and it will uh, broadcast it to all uh, replica in prepare uh, commit message. Uh, in this uh, step or in this round or in this phase, uh, the leader wants to uh, solve the hidden lock problems. Uh, that means before a replica uh, lock on the, the proposal that uh, the leader wants to propose, the leader wants to know uh, the highest key for, uh, for, for, the, uh, for the lock. Because uh, uh, hot stuff did not wait for a maximum network delay, but it just wait for NF uh, uh, 
messages uh, from replica. Then uh, in uh, a commit phase, uh, a leader will receive n minus f uh, pre-commit both from all replica, uh, from n minus f replica, and it will combine them in uh, pre-commit column certificate. Then the leader uh, uh, will broadcast it in uh, a commit message. In this time, uh, or in this stage of the protocol, the leader uh, is safe to commit because if the leader uh, uh, died, I'm sorry, no, not this uh, uh, phase. So the leader will broadcast its commit message to all uh, replica. Replica will respond with the commit vote, and then replica will uh, lock on the uh, big commit quorum certificate. Once replica locked on the uh, commit certificate, and once the leader in the decided phase receive n minus f uh, commit votes from replica, uh, leader will uh, construct the commit quorum certificate and it will uh, broadcast uh, hit, uh, the commit uh, quorum certificate in decide message. At this point of the, the protocol, the leader can uh, uh, commit uh, its uh, value and uh, the leader already make sure uh, there are uh, n minus f uh, replica already locked on his proposal. So if the leader uh, died and uh, another uh, or failed and another uh, leader came in, there are uh, n minus f uh, replica already locked on the, the previous proposal. Then the uh, replica will uh, receive the uh, decided message from the leader and then they will execute the command uh, for the leader proposal. And the replica will uh, in, uh, increase the few number and start a new few. Then the next leader will uh, came in and it has to wait for n minus f uh, new few messages to start uh, a new proposal. So uh, <clears throat> this is the uh, complete view of the protocol. It has uh, four stages and uh, it has a three quorum certificates. Prepare quorum certificate, pre-commit quorum certificate, and quorum certificate. And, then, and uh, uh, after this quorum uh, certificate, the, the proposal is committed. So what I uh, just talked about, they call it the uh, basic hot stuff. They have uh, uh, another thing called chained hot stuff. Uh, the basic idea, uh, the, uh, the, the view is changing on every uh, proposed phase. So every uh, proposal with ha will has its own uh, view. This will help the protocol to reduce the number of messages and will uh, help to uh, uh, apply or implies the pipeline mechanism. So this is the, the view of, or this is the figure of chain hot stuff. You can see in the few one uh, validators or the leader uh, prepare a command one, a client command one. Then uh, in the few two, uh, another uh, leader came in, it will uh, propose the command two, and it will piggyback the uh, pre-commit for uh, a few one and uh, the third leader came in, it will uh, prepare the command tree for the client, and it will piggyback the pre-commit for a uh, few two and commit for the few one, and so on. So one uh, quorum certificate will uh, serve uh, different uh, phases. So in, in terms of the implementation, uh, the, the code is just uh, 4,000 uh, line of code in C++. Uh, liveness, uh, liveness mechanism is extracted from the uh, hot stuff protocol. Uh, uh, they call uh, liveness mechanism is a uh, pass maker. Pass maker is uh, uh, guarantees the progress uh, of uh, protocol after uh, global stabilization time. So uh, there are uh, three figures uh, or three uh, different uh, evaluation. I just uh, include one uh, evaluation, which is the base uh, performance. Uh, hot stuff is uh, they com uh, the, uh, the hot stuff paper compared uh, hot stuff with uh, something called BFT smart. Uh, to the left uh, figure, they compared uh, the hot stuff uh, two phase and hot stuff three phases with the uh, BFT uh, smart uh, with the different uh, batch size. 
they have batch size of 100, they have batch size of 400, uh, and so on. And uh, you can see uh, latency, it's kind of uh, comparable. They, there is not a much gap there. And uh, the uh, throughput uh, makes different. Uh, the throughput of hot stuff is better than the DFT smart. On the right hand side, uh, the uh, the figure on the right hand side, it's uh, uh, the only difference. The uh, the batch size is fixed for 400, uh, and the payload is different. So sometimes payload is zero, some, sometimes payload is 125, and so on. And uh, that's all my presentation, and uh, I will happy to take your questions. Hello? Hello?